نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احلل عقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعن لی وزیر من احلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللہم الہمنا رشدا و عزنا من شرور انفسنا اللہم ارنا الحق حقا و رزقنا اتباعا اللہم ارنا الباطل باطلا و رزقنا اجتنابا آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہو I would be winding up by the last words of uh, wama malakat aimanukum by some scholars they also refer these to as the domestic animals which we have and uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has educated and taught us to be gentle and kind to the animals as well allah is merciful Allah himself says rahmati ghalib ala ghazabi ila yawmil qiyama my mercy will be dominant over my wrath till the day of resurrection mercy is an attribute of Allah himself he is all merciful ar rahman ar rahim his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was what rahmatul lil alamin Allah has said wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin we have not but sent you as a mercy for the whole worlds so Allah likes his bondsmen to be merciful as well Hazrat Anas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu and Hazrat Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu they both report that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the creatures are the family of Allah that's the most, most beloved of Allah in the whole of the creation is he who does good to the members of his family that is his creatures so it is not being just kind and merciful and generous and caring and loving to the human beings only but to all living creatures of the world prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has narrated so many words and has actually demonstrated so many role models of behavior his kind behavior with the animals himself Hazrat Suhail bin Hamza radiyallahu ta'ala bin Hazrat Suhail bin Hanzali radiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in Abu Dawud that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said O oh people fear Allah with regard to the dumb animals that is who cannot talk and express what they need do not starve them ride on them in a condition that they are well that is they are properly fed and when you leave them leave them in a condition that they are well that is they are properly looked after they are fed they have been given water shade everything has a jabir radiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates in musnad ahmad that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw a donkey whose face had been branded that is stamped with mortal metal whose face has been had been branded prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam remarked he is removed from the mercy of allah who has committed this cruel Hazrat Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates a story by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Bukhari and Muslim and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that there was a woman of bad character she was granted remission of all her sins on the act that she saw a dog that was moving around a well and uh, in such a state that his tongue was hanging out and it was panting and it was appearing as if he was dying of thirst this woman took pity on the dog and there was no rope there was no vessel to draw the water out from the well so she took off her leather stocking and tied it to her and drew the water from the well by means of it and gave it to the dog to drink 
Prophet ﷺ said she was forgiven by Allah of all her sins upon this act of mercy. A companion asked, O Messenger of Allah, is there a reward even of giving food and drink to the animals? Prophet ﷺ said, of course, there's a reward on giving food and drink to every living creature. And that is why it is reported by Hazrat Anas Allahu ta'ala and who in Bukhari and Muslim that the Prophet Wasallam said, a Muslim bondsman who plants a tree or grows a crop and then a man, a bird or an animal eats of it, it will be a charity on his part. Hazrat Ibn Umar Allahu ta'ala and who and Hazrat Abu Huraira Allahu ta'ala and who they both report in both Bukhari and Muslim that the Prophet Wasallam narrates the story about a hard-hearted woman. She was a cruel, hard-hearted woman. And Prophet ﷺ said that she will make her way to hell simply because she killed a cat. She killed a cat in her careless, callous manner. She held the cat in captivity and neither did she give her anything to eat herself and nor did she free, nor did she free her that she could feed herself. Or, but she was because she killed this cat in a very careless and a cruel manner she would be made to enter hell Allahumma ajirna min al-nar Hazrat Jareer bin Abdullah Razi Allah ta'ala and who reports in Bukhari that the Prophet sallallahu said Allah will not show mercy to them who do not show mercy to others and similarly Hazrat Abdullah ibn Amr Ibn Nulas reports in Abu Dawood and Tirmidhi that the Muhammad said, Allah will have mercy upon them who are merciful. They treat kindly the dwellers of the earth. He who dwells in heavens will treat him kindly. And then a similar story of a dog is narrated by Hazrat Abu Huraira Allah ta'ala anhu in Bukhari and Muslim that the Prophet Sallallahu said that there was a traveler, he felt thirsty and he came upon a well and he went down the well, he drank water and he came out and when he came out he saw a dog. The dog seemed as if it was going to die of thirst. The tongue was sticking out and it was licking the wet earth and the man took pity on the dog and all the way again he went down the well and he filled his leather stocking with water and held him, held the stocking by his teeth and then came out of the well and he gave the water to the dog and he saved the dog. And Prophet ﷺ said, This simple service to the thirsty dog pleased the Lord so much that he blessed the man with salvation. The, the companions asked, is there a reward even on removing the distress of the animals? Yes, replied the Prophet, on removing the distress of every living thing that can feel the pangs of hunger and thirst. So this is Islam. And these are the teachings of the Prophet wasallam in perfection of mercy and kindness. Similarly, there is a hadith an incident reported by Hazrat Abdullah bin Jafar Jafar ta'ala and who in Abu Dawood that uh, the Prophet wasallam went to the orchard of an Ansar companion and there he saw a, a camel which was groaning very pathetically and Prophet wasallam and was groaning and in fact it was shedding tears as well. The Prophet wasallam went to it and he started stroking the head of the camel very gently and then the camel became quiet. And then he asked, whose camel it is? The person who was the Ansari, he came up and he said, it is, it's my camel. Prophet ﷺ said to him, do not fear Allah. Do you not fear Allah in respect of this poor dumb creature who has made you his master? It is complained to me that you keep it hungry and you take too much of work from it. So be kind to it and be merciful to it. Similarly, there's a very interesting incident. Hazrat Abdullah, Abdul Rahman bin Abdullah, he uh, narrates in Abu Dawud that we were accompanying the Prophet Sallallahu in a journey and uh, we saw um, a nest. A beautiful red bird had a nest and there were two small nestling and the chicks in the nest and we caught the chicks. And uh, when we came 
and sat with the Prophet ﷺ, that bird, the mother, the bird was, uh, they came there and the bird began to hover over our heads. And Prophet ﷺ, when he noticed the bird, he asked, what is the matter? And we told him that we've taken the nestlings out of the nest. Prophet ﷺ was so annoyed that he immediately said, that can't you see how upset the bird is? Immediately go and put back the birds. Immediately go back and put back the nestings and the chicks in the nest. Similarly, there was another incident that the companion said that we were uh, traveling and we stopped over and we saw an ant hill and we set fire to it. And uh, when the Prophet ﷺ saw the fire, he inquired who had put on this fire and why was it uh, put on. And uh, the companion said that we burnt it because we wanted to burn the ant hill. Prophet ﷺ said to inflict punishment of fire on living beings is only the right of the creator of the fire. So being kind-hearted, being merciful, doing ihsan to parents, to relations of kin, to the orphans, to the deprived, to the poor, to the neighbors, to, to the companions of our side, to our slaves, to our to our servants and even to the living creatures and to the animals is what Allah teaches us in Quran and what Prophet ﷺ instructs us in Hadith in Sunnah. Allah, we seek forgiveness for all what we wronged. Allah, we repent for all what evil deeds we performed. Allah forgive our major sins and Allah forgive our minor sins. Rabbi ghfir warham wa anta khayru rahimeen. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu mina zhalimeen. Fee iman Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.